What's going on everyone? I'm really excited today to present to you all um, some tech and tailwinds behind Accelerator Biologics right now. Um, this is going to be more of a presentation about the industry and the outlook, not so much about the business itself. Um, you can check the video on my channel about the business itself if you'd like. Uh, so I want to talk about big data. Big data has been a huge thing growing exponentially ever since 2009. As you can see here, in 2009, the world's data, as in all the digital data of the world, we weren't even at a zettabyte yet. And today, in 2020, we're at around 35 zettabytes. <laughs> That's incredible. And another thing I really want to note about data is that the advent of the cloud, so like for example, AWS, that's probably the biggest cloud player in the world, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, um, Andy Jassy, you know. So they're like the biggest player in the world right now. And like the advent of that technology has compoundedly helped the world store more and more data. It essentially comes from like Amazon Web. Um, they had a whole bunch of servers that they didn't really have any use for. For example, they had to ha have all these servers. So, you know, for example, Christmas, around Christmas or on the big Amazon Prime Day, um, all that traffic, they don't want Amazon.com to crash. It's like one of the biggest commercial hubs in the world. So they invented AWS, which was a cloud computing engine, and they marketed it out beyond Amazon because, you know, they only need those servers at certain points of the year. So they're outsourcing all the servers they don't need and all these other like Google, um, Microsoft, as well as in China, you see like Alibaba, Tencent, um, all these big tech companies are really just pouring, pouring resources into the cloud. So big data is something I'm really excited about. It's something that I really think is going to compoundedly grow more and more. And it's quite shocking. Like I'll even show you at the end of this presentation, like the revenue numbers on the cloud. But big data, it is an exponential grower. Just think about that. From 2009 to now, from less than one zettabyte to 35 zettabytes. So big data seems to have a really healthy um, tech and industry outlook. Um, as you can see, these compounded annual growth estimates from all these research forms um, seem quite phenomenal. Um, anything above 8% I'm very interested in because like 8% that's roughly normally around where an index fund will return for you. You see here according to market research future they estimate about a 14.52% compounded annual growth rate until 2030. For Then you can see below that you've got a 19% estimate that's from Stratus Research and below that one you got an another one of 17.5%. Uh, so what synergizes really well with big data? I would say AI and analytics. And the reason why is AI and analytics really helps expedite the kind of like searching, gathering through of big data that you need to do to make big data useful. So according to Vantage Market Research, they estimate about a compounded annual growth rate until 2028 of 44.1% with AI analytics. Grandview Research, they're estimating a compounded annual growth rate of 38.1%. And Zion Market Research, they're estimating about a 41.5. So as you can see, compared to like an 8% growth rate, this is huge. But you must keep in mind that things like valuation and growth need to be considered when you're trying to analyze them. But honestly, I really like the valuation of Appseller at a day. It's below like a PE of 15, very healthy company, almost a billion in cash, like a 2 billion market cap. The fact that it seems to be in a high growth area is really interesting to me because the valuation is really starting to check out and the growth that what could happen as well as the industry that they're in, the growing industry, it looks phenomenal. It's just checking all the boxes. So AI and drug discovery, those really come together when AI is starting to really meet big data. It's really starting to show that drug discovery and AI is going to be like a huge thing going forward. Markets and markets, they're estimating a companion annual growth rate of 40.8% until 2024. Now, this this report came out in late 2019, and I was really thinking, as you can see here at the bottom, the urgency that CV19 created in 2020, don't you think it's plausible the growth rate may be has excelled since then or like the growth rate that we will see um because when this research report came out in 2019 you know cv19 wasn't really on most people's minds like barely anyone even knew about cv19 until november of 2019. i'm just wondering if this research report is maybe dated and if they recast this estimate if it would go higher because of all the funding that got poured into the med tech type of industry with advent of CV19. This is a really great video. I can recommend you all check it out. Um, this is Carl Hansen, the Epsilon CEO. It's about a 12 minute video. Uh, he breaks down how he uh, and the company leveraged AWS for the discovery of Bam Labnavab, their antibody uh, of CV19 that got out into the market with the help of their partner, Eli Lilly. So as you can see here, they used you know their AI platform and they screened five that 5,800,000 cells in three days. Now that's incredible, especially when you think about how Carl Hansen mentioned 
the human, there's around 100 billion antibodies. At any given moment, they're producing about a billion. I mean, these are huge numbers. And they took an individual who recovered from CV19 and they started screening their antibodies. So Abcellera screened it to the point where they came up with 5.8 million in three days. But as you can see, their process, you know, they're gonna continually narrow down this number. So from there, you know, by day six, they narrowed that number from 5.8 million in day three to day six, 2.2K. And by day nine, they're narrowing this down to 500. So they're gradually taking their, their big data infrastructure and they're just solving problems for what antibodies you think will be most useful for the CBD19 situation. So out of those 5.8 million, not all of them are gonna work equally as well. And they're just sorting out and narrowing it down to like which ones we think will work best, which ones we think will work best. So by day nine, we're at 500. And from 500 down here, you can see they actually brought it down to 24 lead antibodies. That was the next step. Now, how were they able to do this? Abseller is advanced AI and analytics. Um, it's their bread and butter. I mean, it's really what they do. They have a patent technology called Celium, and that really helped, especially with this like latter portion of, you know, getting the number narrowed down to like what antibody do we want to bring to market? You know, we have to end this thing with pretty much like one. So with the help of Celium, we're bringing this number now down to 24. And then now we finally got our one antibody select. After 5.8 million, then 2.2K, then 500, then 24, and now one. Now this one, we're gonna send to Eli Lilly for testing, human testing, and we're not gonna worry about paying any of those costs. We as Upsellera, we only spend, you know, in the preclinical phase. We're not gonna do all those expensive human testing. Eli Lilly can go pay for all that. That's our partner, that's what they're there for. Upsellera discovered this antibody within six weeks. And then the first successful test came out with the help of Lilly after six more weeks. So in a three month period, effectively, Upsellera was able to bring to market the first monoclonal antibody for CV19. <laughs> These dudes work fast. AWS is a powerhouse. And I'm so glad that Upsellera is leveraging all that tech. So as you can see here, they use all the different features of AWS. AWS is a very comprehensive platform, such as Amazon RDS. This really helped their database management. You know, when you're dealing with like 5.8 billion number, or million, excuse me, numbers, I mean, it's an immense amount of data points. So you definitely need a lot of the tech and software that's able to process all these things. And you got things like Amazon Elastic that are just really useful for running multitudes of servers all at one time. So the fact that Upsellera is leveraging AWS certainly something to keep an eye on. As you can see here, AWS has been a powerhouse, but not just AWS, which has dominated the cloud markets in the world. I mean, as you can clearly see here, even the other immense, huge American big techs like Microsoft and Google are blown out of the water as far as when it comes to market share in the cloud market right now. But just keep in mind, like worldwide revenues of cloud have been exponentially increasing. I mean, this is incredible growth since 2018. The cloud market has effectively tripled since then. So yeah, I hope this video just gave you some insight on why Upseller is uniquely positioned in a hyper growth industry. Um, AI and big data really seem to be like huge, huge technology backed tailwinds, huge areas that you want to be in as investors going forward if you want to outperform. Amazing tailwinds, amazing technology. Um, I don't know if you've seen my video discussing Upseller's business fundamentals. Please give that a watch if you have not already. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, but yeah, this is the beautiful Ziegler Park in Austin, Texas. Um, this is actually becoming a med tech hub of the world right now and a tech hub of the world. And uh, probably gonna be where I'm living for the next bit, um, just working in med tech. And I'm really excited for this chapter of my life. And uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm the Zoomer Value Investor, signing off. Peace.